Hello, welcome to the New River Greenbrier Valley region. I'm Bob Conti, the historian here at the Greenbrier. Back during the Civil War, these were tough mountains to get through, and the only way you did so was following the rivers or the turnpikes that cut through these mountains, which were filled with famous mineral spring resorts, where wealthy and powerful members of Southern aristocracy would come up during the summer months, as Robert E. Lee did, and stay for three years in one of the cottages of Baltimore Row behind me, here at White Sulphur Springs, which will eventually evolve into the world-famous Greenbrier Resort. Here we are at the spring house of the Greenbrier in White Sulphur Springs. Early in the war in 1861, Confederate soldiers would have gathered here around this spring, and they would have known that this had been a famous resort for 30 or 40 years before the war broke out. Some of them would have been patients at the old White Hotel, which the Confederacy used as a hospital for the better part of two years. This is all situated in some of the prettiest landscape in America, filled with small towns and historic towns that invite you here to the New River Greenbar Valley region of West Virginia. Located in the southeastern corner of West Virginia, bordering Virginia is the New River Valley of West Virginia. Just 100 years before the Civil War, the region was considered to be wild, untamed, and the distant west to the colonists of 18th century America. On May 1st, 1862, a Union regiment commanded by future President Rutherford B. Hayes that included another future president, William McKinley, fought a 13-hour battle through Mercer County and forced Confederates to evacuate Princeton. Even though most of Princeton's residents sympathized with the South, the rebel troops set fire to the town to prevent supplies from falling into Union hands. The fire destroyed nearly all of Princeton, including the Mercer County Courthouse. Only the jail and 10 private homes survived, including the McNutt House. The Union advance against Princeton was coordinated with a movement against the Greenbrier Valley. The Confederates were defeated at the Battle of Lewisburg three weeks after the burning of Princeton. The Battle of Princeton Courthouse was fought May 15th through the 17th, 1862 in Mercer County, Virginia, in conjunction with Stonewall Jackson's Valley Campaign. It was a victory for the Confederates. After the fighting in Mercer County, Union Colonel George Crook, commanding the Union Brigade, occupied the city of Lewisburg, where on May 23rd, he defeated Confederate Brigadier General Henry Heath's brigade. Lewisburg is also near Oregon Cave. The cave was an important source of saltpeter, an essential element in the manufacture of gunpowder, making it an important resource for the Confederates, who operated the mine under the command of Robert E. Lee beginning in 1861 through the end of 1863. 37 of the original 52 wooden hoppers, along with their mineral troughs, still exist and are the best preserved examples and represent the largest collection in the country. The extensive cave system is still being explored and is open seasonally for tours. During 1863 and 1864, Fighting in the New River Valley region was limited to raids and skirmishes from both Union and Confederate cavalry units. One such Union unit was Blazer Scouts, formed in September 1863 by Colonel Carr B. White at Fayetteville, West Virginia. They acted as the advance and rear guard of the Army in the area of the Kanawha and the New Rivers in West Virginia. Union Cavalry Commander Avril was also active in this region. The New River Valley region has so much to offer Civil War enthusiasts. General Robert E. Lee's famous horse, Traveler, was purchased in Greenbrier County, where the Greenbrier Resort was used as a Civil War hospital. While in Greenbrier County, be sure to visit the Confederate Cemetery in Lewisburg and take a walking tour of Civil War sites in America's top-rated small town full of charming shops, galleries, and restaurants. Visit the McNutt House in Princeton, which served as a Civil War hospital and headquarters for federal forces, including two future U.S. presidents, Rutherford B. Hayes and William McKinley. Each year, thousands of adventure enthusiasts flock to the New River Valley region to whitewater raft the rivers, while rock climbers scale the walls of ancient New River Gorge. Throughout the New River Valley, miles of trails lead hikers, bikers, and horseback riders along the clear streams, past deserted mining towns, and the magnificent scenic vistas. Visit Tamarack, offering the best of West Virginia with fine crafted products from skilled artisans. The Bunker, a Cold War relic at the Greenbrier, is open for tours year-round. Attend one of the region's many festivals and fairs, including the Bridge Day Festival at the longest single steel arch bridge in the Western Hemisphere, the New River Gorge Bridge. 
The Summit Bechtel Reserve, located near Beckley, will host the National Boy Scout Jamboree beginning in 2013 and the 2019 World Boy Scout Jamboree.